So here we have Aditya Raghavan, who is a recent graduate from Princeton University. He has done a degree in mechanical engineering. So Aditya, could you tell us more about your experience at Princeton? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks for having me. And I studied uh, mechanical and aerospace engineering at Princeton. Uh, and my passions were sustainable development. So I did certificates in sustainable energy and as well as robotics. Uh, so mainly most of my time was spent uh, studying. Playing squash uh, was definitely a big part. Uh, I played for the varsity team there uh, and I've grown up playing squash. Uh, so that was my experience uh, in Princeton. Okay, could you give some guidance to students who wish to study mechanical engineering in the US? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think the first and most important thing is only do it if you're really passionate about it. Uh, it is a hard degree. Uh, there was a lot of math. There were times where the, the academics were hard, especially in Princeton. But at no point did I find it stressful or really tough to do just because I enjoyed it so much. And there are always resources available uh, in the university. All you have to do is ask for help. Like professors are ready to help you. The specific guidance like tutors and also your fellow classmates are a great resource. Uh, so if you're really passionate about it, definitely, definitely mechanical engineering is a great thing to do. Okay, great. So how do you think robotic intelligence systems will impact our lives over the next decade? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'd like to separate it out. Uh, AI and yeah, artificial intelligence and machine learning are like just buzzwords that are being thrown out there without people understanding what it means. Uh, robotics have already been a part of our life, like make simple things like lifting things or any kind of embedded system, be it your computer, your TV. Uh, it's already a part of our day to day life. But I do think that automation is going to play a big role, especially uh, automating jobs that are repetitive uh, in nature. Uh, is all it's all going to be done by robots in the in the future so have you done any online courses uh so i have personally have not done a lot of online learning uh i think google's a great resource to learn new things but uh there are definitely courseworks in coursera on Academy and all, all kinds of websites like that. Also, MIT has open source coursework, which I would uh, highly recommend. So if someone wants to start off learning AI and machine learning, what would you suggest to them? I think there are two parts uh, to learn truly about machine learning. The first part is learning the fundamentals of how it works. Uh, and for that, you really need to understand the theory of how machine learning works. and. Google would be a great place to learn that. And also there are like courseworks, like reading textbooks and all of that. I think the second part is really applying it. So taking a problem that you want to you want to solve, it could be something as simple as recognizing an object, uh, like a ball or a, uh, using vision, computer vision, and really applying those skills would help you learn more about that skill. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time. No worries. No worries.